There are plenty of good use cases for JSON fields in a relational database. Let's say we're working with a third-party logging provider. We might not know the total possible shape of the data that they would provide. So instead of trying to keep our schema match with whatever that might be, we can just put it into a JSON field, much like I've got here in this Prisma Postgres database in this log table, where we've got metadata and context existing as JSON fields. Prisma has many options for allowing us to query for data here in these JSON fields. For example, if we wanted to look for logs where an IP equals a specific value, we can do that. And the way we do is we pass a path. We pass IP because that's at the top level of our JSON object. And then we can pass the value that we're after. If we've got multiple levels of nesting, well, we just have to add in those multiple levels. So params and then user ID, for example. And then there are even other operators, things like string contains, so that we don't need to know the total user ID to be able to look for it.